Let's just get right into it. First, setup of the day submitted by Francisco. He's 17 years old and he uses his setup for gaming, work, school, and entertainment. And before we just dive into it, he did say the reason his setup is this way is because his TV aligns with his bed. Even though it might not look like it in the pictures, my arm does not bang against the PC, so it is comfortable. There's about three inches of space between the keyboard and my PC. And what I have to say to that is, is three inches actually a lot, guys? First thoughts, super clean setup. And I love the Star Wars theme. I love it because I am a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know what you think, Mike, but I think his uh, wire management is super clean. Francisco, you're kind of pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. Put the PC on the floor. And again, mm -hmm. that is going to complicate things with your cable management. But at the end of the day, that's got to be annoying, man. That's got to be really annoying. I mean, yeah. can you imagine sitting there and your PC is literally right up against your left hand? The The theme is great. The The layout, I think, is, is fine. At the end of the day... He's got a lot of space under there. He can move the subwoofer uh, and then that will give him space to put the speaker standing up. And overall, you know, yeah, you don't need a bigger monitor if you don't want it. That's actually for some people, they prefer that. It might be a high refresh rate monitor for gaming. Whatever the case is, True. the balance is there. You could you can make this work with slight adjustments. But for the most part, I would say all things considered, boom. It's killer. Killer. Great. Plenty of room to work too. Yeah. Sergey, 32 years old uses his setup for architecture CAD and his Plex server. Jeez. Closer look at the setup. I mean, look at that PC on the floor. Tons of space. Usability. Tight. Out of sight. Out of, like, oh my God. Tight, Even tight, a closer tight, look. Tight, so tight. good. Straight on. I mean, symmetry on point. Mm -hmm. Just insane. Further back looks so good. And underneath is super clean. Uh, I've got OMG. <laughs> Are we looking at a furniture catalog or like some sort Feels of like it, you know, that's exactly what it felt like. There isn't a bad placement of anything in this shot that you're showing right now. Mm -hmm. Everything has a place and it's perfectly set up. You know what? The color tones here. And like, I'm not trying to be an interior designer. I'm no, not, no, no. I don't care about that, but whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like this, like, like you said, magazine, this is, I want the color codes to Benjamin Moore for everything going on here. Um, the, <laughs> I love the little enclosure too, for the holding the TV with the, the LEDs TV. built in that also yeah. you, you kind of duplicate it over to the PC setup that has LEDs. I will say cookie brought up in the chat. You need to dust the PC. That is something that I would probably do. This isn't just a room. This isn't just an office where the desk is. This is his living room. You, you kind of don't want it to pull your eye away when you're watching TV. So sure. the, the, the minimal setup, he does have some pop vinyls there. The shelves, the bamboo behind the monitor. I mean, everything just, it gives the same look as the TV. And I think that's exactly what he went for. And again, this has to work with the room. I would just love to see more of it. I think if he did like a, a video tour on YouTube, this thing would go cool. viral. So it would. Subscribe. next setup of the day submitted by Hayden. He's 16. Uses his setup for gaming, music production, and watching sports. He also built the night table, headphone stand, and phone stand. Congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, first thing, we have a zip line for action figures yeah. with this cable. <laughs> and then over here, we have literally every accessory known to man. You know, listen, the desktop looks great. I, I love the wood, the natural look. That looks awesome. You've got everything that you need to the right there on the table. I mean, even though you've got storage underneath the desk. <laughs> the thing is, it's really, if I look, the photo I'm looking at right now, if I just looked at this, I would say, damn, that is a pretty nice clean setup. He's got himself different accessories that are useful, but they're not cluttering the desk. You know, and he's got a little bit of greenery in there. I don't know about the the top monitor. I don't know what, what that's actually for, if it's a TV yeah, for gaming I, or, but under the desk, this is good. Cause like he said, if he needs to change out a cable, we, we see the Velcro and he could yeah. easily switch it out. One, two, three. I would like to see more on the wall. If he doesn't want more on the wall, then so be it. But I think he would benefit from a little bit of color. You could mount the remotes under the desk. <laughs> a lot of people do that, right? The stand that you have for your mic, you, you just get one 10 bucks off Amazon that clamps to your desk. Bada bing, bada boom. You're all set and ready to go. That's what I would do. Overall, very badass setup. And it looks like you definitely use it. Next setup of the day, submitted by Scott. He's 24 years old. He uses his setup for work, gaming, and self-learning computer science. Hell yeah, brother. The color scheme, this is what people, they go for now. The minimalist, 
the dark mm-hmm. tones with the nice rich wood, long tabletop. We like them long. The whole let's only look at one speaker thing kind of creeps me out. Big setup, super clean, almost too clean. Show off a hobby, something that you like to do. I know that you said your personality is no personality, but you know. Cable management is clean, which is huge with a desk like that with such a big yeah. opening. I think symmetry would be huge for this setup. I know you don't have it with your monitors necessarily, although down the road, you could always add another one. Um, mm-hmm. The pegboard going, you know, another one on the left side would look really cool. Kind of balance it out. I'm sure a lot of people out there wish their setup could be this empty because having that extra desk space at times is super useful, especially if he's working on a keyboard. Other than that, I'm just nitpicking at this point because there really is not much to complain about. If your style is to keep it clean, it's awesome. I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah. And you know what? He's obviously getting swole. He's got a dumbbell over there on the floor. So he said, damn it. I knew you would see that. Of course I saw that. (laughs) Uh, But I love the keyboard. I really do. I want to get into that. I want to try making my own keyboard at some point. First off, Oscar... He's 24 years old. Video editing, drawing, music production, and gaming. My guy does it all. He also has something that I have. One of those nice little plaques in the back. (laughs) All right. I feel intimidated, but I won't let it show. (laughs) And he's got a naked man. Yeah, I probably shouldn't zoom in too much on there. This has a lot. There's a lot here. I think it's cool that you have a sit-stand desk. You know, it's tough to minimalize with the wallpaper. He also said he tried attaching the power strips to the bottom of the desk with double-sided tape, but they fell off after a couple of days. That's the thing. We talked about it before. There's a lot of purpose here, but behind mm-hmm. every item, there's a reason that it's there. He's not just putting stuff to have stuff. You have a sit-stand desk. Your battle with cable management just literally times a million. Yep. Super hard. The most annoying thing to deal with, you need to make sure you have super long cables because no matter what you do, even if it's mounted to the underside of the desk, you're still dealing with the length issue. Now, I'm actually looking to do this. I'm getting a sit-stand desk. Okay. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to mount the power strip under the desk. I agree with you with the idea specifically because this is a sit-stand desk. You tie it together, the desk goes up, something pulls out. You're like, what the hell am I looking for? Sometimes... It, it's it, not worth it. Needs- it. It's just hard to really find a, a balance. And you know that too, Mike, like you, you have a lot of gear and stuff and finding that balance is really hard. Overall, I think the setup is busy, but it's busy because it's being used. At the end of the day, Sergey is going to win with 56.41% of the vote. If you want to submit your yes. setup, go on over to pinmysetup.com. And if you want to check out all the products in the setups that we feature today, then go to pinmysetup.com slash one. That's it. That's all you have to type. You'll see everything you need and that's going to do it. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of Pin My Setup. Thanks to Mike Panetta thank for you. joining us. Check him out. Tech Examined on YouTube. He's got a video of a phone falling on him. You got to check it out. It's coming out soon. Coming up. Yeah. Yep. So there we go. We'll see you next week.